Hey guys, this is the Wolf Tennis House. My good friend Ante Pavic, who's knocking right at the door for the top 100 in doubles. And I decided to check his serve out. So he has a pinpoint serve. And I just want to go through a couple of key points with you guys um, to talk and go over it. And always, if you like what we do, please subscribe, turn the notification buttons on, and let's go straight to it. So a good thing is always a comparison with the pro player, so you see uh, what you do and what the players do. Not always, obviously, we can do what the pro players do, but it's it's the checkpoint, the main points are very important. So when you start, when we go to the start here... The, his weight is on the front leg, his arms are away from the body to a little bit uh, to his right. And um, it's a very good starting position. You don't, when you look at him right now, you don't want him hit the starting position. Uh, fast forward, you see his belly button points to his right, right? So um, that's what you want at the very beginning. You don't want any, you don't want someone to stand right here now and be open so the belly button points forward and being already open. You want someone to stand sideways when they serve. So, um, that starts on the front leg with the weight. He goes back with the back leg, so the, all the weight is on the back leg now. And when he takes his racket back, that's around, for him, knee level here. He pulls his back, he's very low. You know, some players don't have this low position here. Some players might be in this position a little bit more upright and bring, therefore, the arm a little bit more to the hips. So that's an individual style. And the key is now, when you look at his serve, look at the left arm. So the left arm here is straight. And again, it stays straight and it goes up and is straight all the time. If you are struggling with your tossing motion, make sure that you feel like the energy, the, the, the engine comes from the shoulder. So the shoulder is the driving force on, on the toss. That might, might help you a little bit to keep the arm straight and therefore the toss very balanced. So, so hit the toss is first and then look at his right arm. The hitting arm comes after that and the strings point down, which we call palms down and he gets into the trophy right now. So why is that important? Because a lot of players, when they toss their ball up, they're tossing it behind. And the reason for that is that the hitting arm and the tossing arm with a lot of players go simultaneously up. Here you have a nice example how the tossing arm goes up first and then the hitting arm. Therefore, you can focus on the toss and then the rest comes naturally. So let's get to this position again. Release is around the eye level right here. So when you release the ball, it's about eye level, okay? The next step, when you're in the trophy position, right here. So a lot of players right now, they're dropping their hitting arm already. So that when you're in a trophy position, that's a sign when that ball is at the highest point, right there, that is when you're in a trophy position. And I always uh, tell my players to, that the record tip points a little bit to the sky if your players already hold the record like a pancake they cannot do the, the kinetic chain correctly and they cannot execute that ball correctly so make sure that the racket here the hitting arm racket stays up until the ball starts dropping and the ball will fall into a little window which will be the contact point later on which is right there the ball will fall in there. So when the ball is at the peak, you're right here, and then the ball starts dropping, and that's when your legs, your knees, starts to explode, right here, and then the racket head drops down, right here, and you're ready to go up and hit that ball. One more thing that's important, when you go up to that ball, look at his chest. We always call it chest points to the sky. You want to make yourself now, after you exploded from the knee extension up, you want to make sure you want to go upwards to that ball. You don't want to collapse and make yourself small. That's why the chest points to the sky. And I'm to now look at the sequence of the hitting arm. So the hitting arm dropped into this position right here. And once you're in this position, the racket head has to be way below like your elbow position here which is going to be here so he has a nice drop of the racket head 
and then the elbow goes first as you can see the forearm follows and the last thing that touches is the racket and the string so it's in this sequence here elbow forearm and racket he's very balanced right here still the body is looking good there and then the long shoulder wrong long shoulder axis pronation long axis shoulder pronation here right here so it's pronating with the, with the whole arm and shoulder right here and then the last part of it is the actually the, the energy goes into the wrist right but it's a, that's why it's called long axis shoulder pronation then he lands on his left leg and butt kicks we call that the scorpion position his right leg he landed here is very balanced and the key now is how quick he goes into the split so he can hit the next ball so just to recap i want to go one more time through it remember it is very important that if you struggle for example look he has a short low toss so all his motion is very fluent there's no long waiting so if you're struggling with your serve a lot of players sometimes toss the ball too high up so they're waiting in this position too long and therefore the racket drops too early that's one of the biggest mistakes on the serve so make sure that you see that your toss is not too low and not too high and that your contact stays up in front of you and you stay balanced when you're done as always if you like what you do please subscribe turn on the notification button and i hope that video helps you a little bit with your serve and the next one guys coming out tomorrow thank you for staying with me guys